Man, what is going on in pro fishing? <laughs> These two jokers that I'm about to show you guys will have you a lost of words. We know that people cheat on many different things. People cheat in card games like poker. People cheat in sports all the way from basketball to football to any kind of sport you can think of. But fishing, pro fishing, man, I would have never thought a scandal like this would have came out. Uh, the video I'm going to show you today is going to have you at all. <laughs> you know, I, I, I appreciate fishing. I don't I have to be honest. I don't keep up with pro fishing per se. Like, it's not my go-to. Let me go see what's going on with pro fishing. But I know some of you guys are some fishing fans. I'm a fishing fan. I got many great stories of me and my dad and brother going bass fishing, all the way down, to tipping the canoe over, and we getting up out the water and got leeches everywhere. But that's another story. But this story I'm going to be touching up on today is a, is a pro fishing tournament where these two jokers get caught red-handed in the cookie jar, stealing stole hundreds of thousands of dollars in prize money and apparently they have a track record of of, of rigging or or cheating in the tournament and getting caught it, it goes to show you that cheaters they tend to keep cheating and they can get away with things but for some reason they just it's habitual they keep going when they could have stopped long time long ago and then there'd be that one moment where they just have no idea what took place what this tournament this one was um this one took place in Ohio. Um, I believe it's called uh, Lake Erie Wally Eye Trail in Ohio. Now, the two jokers that got caught up is Chase Kaminsky and Jake Runyon. Uh, apparently, these two jokers have a track history of cheating, and they've been caught cheating before. And apparently, one of the guys was so upset of getting caught cheating or questioned about it because he failed a, a lie detecting test he actually was going to sue the organization um, for, you know, stopping their win and not giving them their prize money. Well, I think that's I, I think that trial was actually still in play, but I think it's down the drain now um, after this scandal uh, took place. But it's a tournament that ruled a duel as winners after they weighed in. But a voice in the video from the event can be heard saying someone else's fish were larger than Kaminsky's and Runyon's leading uh, to a debate which caused them to have to go and check and whatnot. Um, so someone basically ended up deciding to cut the fish open. And when they cut the fish open, they found filleted fish, uh, other things that were stuffed inside the fish, as well as lead weight. So it's like, wow, you know, I would have never thought that somebody would have did this. But I got to show you guys this video, man. I, I just have to, man. So I'm going to play this video, and then I'm going to give you guys my mean tweet commentary. Here we go! Oh! Everybody listen to me right now. Jake, I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want you to leave. And I think that the dude did it in a civilized manner. Saying, look, I want these guys to leave. Don't touch them. Yada, yada, yada. Tell the cops. It's theft. It's theft. You fucking yeah, this is bullshit. You fucking done this, you this you mother fucker. You fucking piece of shit. Don't we need to file a police report? Yeah. yeah. Jason, we got to file a police report. All of them. All of them. Every fucking report. Every single fucking thing. Oh, yeah. Every yeah. single fucking thing. Every 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 fucking champ, dude. I mean, we all fucking knew it. What the fuck, man? Fuck yeah. They've been doing this whole fucking thing. A filleted fish. Look at this. Is a filleted, yeah. A filleted fish. It's a walleye filleted. He needs to go to jail. He needs to go You call the cops. He does need to go to jail. And from my understanding of what I've read, I think that they have been arrested. But don't mark me on that. Let me get more information on that. I've seen that on a different source. I got video. You got anything to say? Hey, you guys need to refund. Refund all that fucking money. You fucking talk shit to me, dude. And that's what you fucking do? Fucking waste of it. You fucking 
like a star. Take pictures. I need pictures. You video in this whole thing? Got video. Yeah. I videoed it right off the rip. Hold on, let me take pictures. You fucked over a lot of people, man. They've been doing this shit for years. Cheating motherfuckers, man. Piece of fucking shit. You got a fucking boat. You got thousands of fucking dollars. You stole from everybody. Well, and there you have it. They stole from everybody, man. I mean, well, who in their mind would have ever thought somebody would do this? Well, apparently with pro fishing, they don't cut the fishes open to check and see if there's anything stuffed down in there to make them weigh more. According to the tournament, they do it based off of how many fish is caught and how much the fish weigh and what's the size of the fish. And apparently these jokers have done this in the past, <laughs> stuffing them with lead weight. And didn't think that they were going to get caught. Well, they got caught. It led up. It, it, the people said that there was a buildup around this. You know, what these jokers, what they did is literally just destroyed their entire reputation, destroyed their entire career. They're going to lose all their sponsors. If it was up to me, I would go back to past tournaments and make them pay back all that money that they probably stole from all these people with their hard work. Can you imagine you putting your best efforts forward? You work your ass off to only find out these jokers have been stealing from you the whole time. They stole hundreds of thousands of dollars. Hundreds of thousands of dollars, man. Not just through the tournaments, but through sponsorships. They have people that were sponsoring them while they go on these fishing tournaments. And did you see the guy's face? He's just sitting there. Has nothing to say. Just caught red-handed. And the organizer um, of this event, he, he, he initiated an apology um, he said, um, the guy's name is Fisher released a statement on the tournament on Facebook page on Saturday. Uh, it reads Dis uh, disgusted guys and gals. I'm sorry for letting you down for so long. And I'm glad I caught cheating taking place at your Lewitt, uh, at this, uh, at the same time. Uh, I am still at loss of words. And for that, I apologize. All Lewitt, uh, anglers deserve uh, better. I will take time and figure out how I could solidify the integrity of our sport here in Erie. I mean, it's just sad, man. You know, right now we're in a time in our country where, you know, we know people cheat at everything. We're supposed to have fair electric slides, if you guys get my drift, but they cheat on that shit too. It's to the, to, they cheat so much they put out rhetoric of uh, it's racist to, to require people to have something that identifies them. So, we, you know, cheaters never win, right? And, and it just shows you even what we're going through in our country. It's coming out one by one. It's coming out slow, and, you know, but it's coming out. And the truth will always prevail. You know, you can only hide but so long until it comes out, man. These guys, what they did, man, in the fishing world, it shocked the world, man. It's, it, it, it's a video that went viral. And, you know... I'm someone that appreciates fishing because I know how hard it can be sometimes to catch fish, right? Uh, you know, there's a certain way you cast. There's a certain way you move the jig. There's a certain type of bait. There's a waiting period. There, it's an art, right? Somebody was talking about golf. Fishing is like golf. There, it takes a skill. There's an art to it. And as a father, someone that's fished before, you know, uh, it, it's something that you appreciate when you see your kids catch their first fish and how their face is like, oh, my God, it's on my hook. It's on my line and all the way down to them being scared to death to even touch the daggone fish. So fishing is something that I can appreciate. I don't keep up with pro fishing, but I thought that this was just crazy. The level of cheating that these jokers did was just nuts, man. But y'all know what time it is. Put it in the comment box what your thoughts are on this. Have you heard about this? Have, have you seen the video? Um, I think these country jokers that was cussing, I, you know, I'm sorry for the explicit cursing, but I thought it was funny as all hell, man. That joker said, woo, when they caught them, and it was just, they are going down. So I'll check on that source about them getting in trouble. I think that they did get locked up. Um, so I'll look into that. If they did, I'll do another video on that. But put it in the comments. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on it. Uh, if it's your first time on the channel, Hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I put out a new video. Everybody else that's been supporting me, please like, comment, and share. Let's put a, a middle finger to the algorithm. Thank you for all the super thanks. 
I appreciate you guys. Y'all know what time it is. It's your boy, Craig Long, 45. I'm out. You can't make this shit up. Peace. Yeah, wait. <laughs>